So this complete website is inbuilt. That means it has been downloaded. And if you want to edit any page, just click on Edit with Elementor. Click on that particular page and click on Edit with Elementor and use the Elementor dashboard and edit it completely. Now I want to add a uh, post. That is, I want to uh, write blogs regarding yoga or whatever it is. Then if I want to add my blogs to my website, same like whatever you have been done in the basic website, you need to follow that step. Also. Go to post, click on add new, click on add new and create the blogs over here. Suppose now I don't have anything related to yoga, but uh, so I'm writing some other blog over here. But generally you can write something about yoga and you can upload it. For now, I'm copying the other blog, whichever I have with me. In this website, I have some blog. I'll just copy that and I'll paste it over there. Let's not waste the time because you guys already know how to create a blog. I'll just copy some of the content. Why is it taking time to load? Okay, I've given some name over here. Then. I'm taking this content because our page is not loading. Copy and yoga. Then if you want to insert an image, you guys already know how to do this thing. So I'm just going to Google and I'm taking some images from here. Always click over here, right? And when the image appears over here, then only save the image. Do not directly save from here. Quality will not be good. So I'm coming back over here and uploading the image. Okay. Just a second, right? Let's take Karanda. Copy from here, paste it from here. See, when you're designing a website, for now I'm copying the content, but when you are doing SEO, please do not copy the content. If you copy the content while doing on page SEO, that is organic method, then your website will not rank on SERP. Google will punish your site. So, for now it's okay to copy, but generally do not copy. Okay, the two most important steps while creating a blog, anybody? Yes. We need to keep a featured image and categories. So set featured image over here. Load file, select file. This feature, this picture will look good as featured image. So set featured image over here. Then go to your categories and add your category. Yoga, publish. Go back and create a page now because you cannot directly add your post to the menu you have to create a page called blog or whatever it is you can give any name whichever you like but generally we give it uh, we give the name it as blog so go to pages create a page called blog and publish and publish go back will my blog page and uh, will my post appear in the menu Will they appear to an user? They will not appear. I need to add them first. Blog page I need to add. Then your categories you need to add. Do not add your post. 
always add your categories posts will be hundreds of posts you will be creating you cannot add hundreds of posts to the menu now let's refresh okay it has been saved then you can refresh your website home about me classes publications get fit get fit and blog yoga in yoga yoga see this is my featured image and these are this is my blog so now i have copied the content but generally please do not copy the content you can add many blogs however you want you can add how many blogs you want you can add and please add it to the menu then only user can read those blogs otherwise only it will be in your website but user cannot read those blogs now let's see how is our home page setting obviously i think in home page by default it has been selected as static that is the reason when we when we open our website in a new tab that is the reason whenever we open our website in a new tab we are unable to see the latest post but we are seeing the home page which is the correct method see i am in home page when i open the website i am able to see the home page but generally what will happen if my home page settings is, is the latest post then i'll be able to see the blog which we have written which is wrong you have to see the home page only first and because your blog page is empty if you want to add all your posts to the blog page then you can add it also how to add it question if i want to add all my blog all my posts into the blog page how can i add it do you remember appearance customized do you remember home page settings which is latest yeah, yeah, post yeah. static post see what i told you that day i don't want my blog page to be empty if you want to add your post to the classes then you can add it up it's up to you if you want to add the post to the about me page it's up to you but i don't want to add them to any other page but i want them to add it to be the, to the blog page only so i i have to go into the wordpress dashboard appearance customized here home page settings option will be there see i told you by default generally when you were doing education hub theme by default it was selected as your latest post if you select as your latest post what will happen pranita if i select it as your latest post what will happen you will see the recent post what we have uh, made changes yes exactly when you open your website you will be able to see what now whatever we have written the yoga blog will appear in top home page so in this website uh, by default a static page it has been set to a static page and home, in home page home is appearing in post page nothing is selected it's up to you whether you want to select or not but i don't want the my i want all my blogs to appear in the blog all my posts to appear in the blog page so i'm just selecting it as post that means it is asking where you want all your posts to appear in yoga under yoga only my yoga post will appear assume that i have written three to four blogs then all three to four blogs where they will appear in the blog page so it's asking me where all my posts are going to appear it's up to you whether you want to select or not i have just selected as blog no publishing so this is a yoga theme website that is yoga niche niche is yoga and you are writing a blog about your goals so service is there and blogging is done so now we are done with services and we are done with blogging now we will go to our e-commerce website that means how to add product to our website just let's refresh uh let's remove it remove this let's keep it fresh tomorrow our website designing will be finished and we can start as okay this is how our website is looking home about me classes publications get fit and blog these are these four are the ones which we have created so yeah and courses okay there we have that okay now how to create an e-commerce website to create an e-commerce website you need to install a plugin called woocommerce you need to install a plugin called woocommerce the first step to create a e-commerce website is install a plugin called woocommerce in while creating a service website we have added pages while creating a blogging website we will add posts but while creating an e-commerce website we will be adding products that means whatever the products you want to sell those products you need to add so pages posts and products so pages and posts are done 
we have we are in the product now so the first step is install a plugin called woocommerce where can i install a plugin just go into plugins and click on add new and install a plugin called woocommerce add new and here woocommerce WooCommerce, install and activate. Yes, it has been installed, then you can activate. Okay, it has been installed and it has been activated too. Maybe it's loading. Wait for some time. Okay, so it's asking, tell us about your store where and when and we will get up get you set up in no time. So all these details you need not enter. It's up to you, but I don't want to waste the time, so I'm not entering. Keep set up store details. Keep those details. It's not mandatory, that is the reason I'm not. Entering all those details, that address and all. Okay, I have just skipped those store details over there. Now, this is how your WooCommerce page looks like. Now, what I told you, I told you that we need to add product. Now, on the left side of the dashboard, you can see the products over here. If for a service website, you need to create a page, that is, you need to add page. For blogging, you need to add uh, posts. But for the e commerce website, you need to add product. Your WooCommerce plugin is appearing to you over here, and under that products you can. So just click on product and click on create a product. You have to create a product. Whatever you are selling, you have to create that. So create a product. So you have to write over here your product name you need to write. Then you have to give a description about your product. Here, these things I'll explain you now. And product short description, that is, you have to describe the product in a short form, that is, one or two lines. Then, product image, if you have a gallery, that means two to three images, then you can upload gallery. And here, product tags, category. All these things we will learn now. So, I have just installed a plugin called WooCommerce. Then, after installing and activating it, I have skipped those details over there, that is, store details. I didn't give my details over there. I have just skipped, click on skip button. Then, under WooCommerce, there is an option called product. Click on products and click on create a product. Then this page appears to you. Okay. Now let's take the help of Mintra because now I don't have any content with me. So I'll just copy the content of Mintra. Menswear. In menswear t-shirt. Let's assume that. I know this is yoga website. You, you can uh, take yoga mats and all. But for now, let me take a t-shirt. Any t-shirt. Yeah. Let's take this name. So this is my product name. Come back over here and paste it over here. So he's asking me the product name. I, I need to give a product name. I have given a product name. Now, then comes the short description. Product short description. What is product short description is? Men black cotton t-shirt. That means you are describing about your product in one line. That is a short description. Whereas if you scroll down, this is the complete description. All the best offers, original product beyond delivery everything this is complete details this is complete description whereas this is short description so just i will copy this thing and i will come back over here in the product description i need to paste it i don't have black shirt with me i have blue shirt so i just change it to blue so i have given my product name and i have given a product description now comes the product image i need to give an image so click on set product image Upload files. I already have a t-shirt image with me. Just scroll down. Okay. This is not any great t-shirt, but whatever it is. 
I have an image of blue t-shirt with me. Now click on set product image. So I've uploaded the product also. Given name, product description and product image. Now comes the product description. But that means you have to describe about your product completely in detail. You have to describe not a short description, but complete details you need to give. So just copy everything over here. I'm copying from here and I'm pasting it over here. And if you are, want to add more description, you can add more description also. Just copy and paste. So I have given the description and I have pasted the description also. Okay. Given the name, the exact description of the product and short description is also done and we have uploaded the image over here. Now the next part is, what happened? Okay. Now the next part is, you need to give a category to your image. That is category to your product. Same like post, what we have done in post, we have given a category. That means this post comes under travel category. This post comes under shopping category. So this particular product comes under which category you need to mention over here. For some reason, this website is not working properly. So product name, I'll just copy and paste. Come back. Here. You can change the head headlines also, like headline two means it, the size will reduce headline three. It's up to you, whatever you want to keep, you can keep. And now for now, I'm keeping it as headline two. So now product image, go to upload files or download it from Google or take the image, take the photo of your product and set product image. Now there is an option called Categories over here, product categories, same like post, you need to mention your category. Now it comes under menswear, so I'm keeping it as menswear. Menswear and new category. So it's under menswear category. Now comes the product tag. What is product tag? See, if, uh, this is Mindra website and here I'm searching for white shirt. White shirt. Product tag is nothing but your keyword. The keyword which you are using to search is known as the tag. So if you want to give a product tag, now suppose here, if I give a product tag as blue, what will happen when I search in the search bar as blue, then my t-shirt will appear. No need to search for this product with the help of this roadster as a name. No need to type roadster and search. But if, if, if suppose hundreds of products are there, then it will take some time to load. That means it will take some time to scroll and search for this particular product. At that time, if you want to take only blue t-shirts, you can go into search bar and you can type blue and this particular t-shirt will appear to you. So tag is nothing but just a keyword. So I'm giving the product tag as blue. So when somebody searches as blue, my, my product should appear. So this is my tag which I have given. Okay, we have done everything. We have given description, short description, image, tag, category, uh, and what else? short description and name also we have given. Now comes this product. There are four types of product. In today's class, we will only learn simple product, but generally there is a group product, affiliate product and variable product. 
simple product in a sense which do not have any variation that means which do not have sizes uh, colors and everything so now i'm taking a t-shirt t-shirt has different sizes and t-shirt will be in different uh, colors also but let's assume that t-shirt is a simple product but if it is a variable product then you can give variations such as in in uh, different sizes that are such as small large medium all the sizes you can give all the colors you can give all those things you will be giving in variable product affiliate product that means if you want to add a product in your website but you want them to redirect to some other website some other e-commerce website such as such as e-commerce and everything that means somebody clicks on your product they will redirect to amazon or such that kind of website is known that, that kind of product is known as affiliate sorry affiliate or external product all these products three products we will learn tomorrow but for now simple product is the most important so let's stick to the simple simple product so i'm in simple product now here comes the first option which is general in general he is asking me regular price and sale price that means what is the regular price of this t-shirt the regular price is 999 but at what price they are selling at 599 they are selling so if you want to give the regular price you have to give it as whatever you want you can give it give it this is my regular price 500 is my regular price and 400 is my sale price and you can even schedule your scale your sale from which date to which date you want it to be under sale after the date expires uh, your product will no longer be under sale and you need to pay 500 rupees you can schedule it's up to you so this is my regular price and my scale price is sale price is for 400 rupees now the general option is done let's go to inventory this is the important option sku sku is nothing but stock keeping unit sku stock keeping unit what is stock keeping unit that means you have to mention how much how many products are there under stock that means now this blue t-shirt is there how many blue t-shirts are there with you to tell to your user tell to the audience so oh sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry that is different sku is nothing but stock keeping unit stock keeping unit is every product will have a different code that means each and every product will have code even in mintra or amazon whatever it is each and every product will have a separate code for us we will differentiate two products with their names or colors or something but generally they will differentiate the products with the help of that particular code so you need to mention that code over here for this particular t-shirt what code you want to give so it is random you can give anything so for now i'm giving the code as 001 that means the the code for this particular t-shirt is 001 every website owner will give a code to their product for each and every product there will be a code so now I'm giving it as 001. It can be any, how many digits you want, you can give, or it can be in words also, it's up to you. For now, I'm giving it as 001. Manage stock. Always click on this option because you want to manage stock or not, he's asking. If you do not manage stock, what will happen? You have, assume that you have 100 t shirts with you, but 100 t shirts are being sold, and 101 person is ask, uh, trying to purchase the product. Assume that he has purchased the product, but you don't have the product with you. Then how will you sell it? How will you transfer the product to him? You cannot do that. So always manage stock. So click on manage stock. So he's asking it, what is your stock quantity? How many products are there with you? I need to mention how many products are there with me. That means this particular product, what is the range? So I'll tell, I have 100 blue t-shirts with me. That means it will not allow okay uh, stock quantity is 100 i'm telling to the to the i'm telling that i have 100 t-shirts with me now allow back order do you want to allow back orders or not always click on this option only do not allow because what will happen if you click on other option if you click on allow or if you click on allow but notify user customer what will happen is you have 100 products with you but one not one people are tra 100, 100 product that is 100 t shirts are sold, and one not one person is trying to purchase your product. But what will happen? It is unfair to that particular person because you don't have the product, but you are trying to sell the product. What will that, per that person is trying to purchase, and you don't have to sell? So, always do not allow back orders. If you click on do not allow back orders, then that, that one not one person cannot 
purchase person cannot purchase your product only 100 people can purchase your product so always do not allow back order otherwise it will be unfair to the user because he will be purchasing but there is no product with you so do not allow back order low stock threshold low stock threshold is nothing but you have 100 100 t-shirts with you when you want to be notified that means at what uh, like suppose 5 suppose i am giving my low stock threshold as 5 that means after 95 t-shirts are sold uh, are sold i'll be getting a notification that your 95 t-shirts are sold are sold you need to add more to the stock i am telling only i have 100 right so i need to add more to the stock then how how should i get notified because i'll be busy with other works and all at that time you have to mention your low stock threshold at five t-shirt on at only five t-shirts remaining i i need to get a notification at five t-shirts or three t-shirts it's up to you at what time you want to get a notification now i'll get a notification that only three t-shirts are remaining so i can again add the t-shirts to my stock so low to low stock threshold how many t-shirts are left over with you you need to mention it over here sold individually never click on this option because one person can purchase your t-shirt in whatever quantity he wants he can purchase that same blue t-shirt two like two t-shirts he can purchase he can purchase three t-shirts he can purchase four t-shirts what how many t-shirts he want he can purchase but if you select on this option suppose assume that a user wants to purchase your blue t-shirt that is he want to purchase two blue t-shirts that means this particular t-shirt he wants to purchase in two quantity the quantity is two if you select this option that person will not be able to add the quantity that means see this is i'm just keep doing it randomly go to back now here see i'm able to i will be able to increase the quantity 1 2 3 4 4 but if you select this option if you select this option over here by default you will be only able to add one quantity only you will not be able to add 2 3 4 5 6 7 If you want to purchase two sheet, two t-shirts, what you need to do is first purchase this one. First done, add to cart, purchase this, place order, then come back, then again click on this particular t-shirt, again click on this particular quantity, quantity, again add to cart, then again place order. So nobody will do like that. So do not select that option. One person can select. One person can purchase your t-shirt how many he want he can purchase those many t-shirts so do not uh, select this option for sold individually so this is about inventory and shipping you can give the weight dimensions what is the length of your t-shirt width what is the weight and everything link the products upsells and cross sells i'll tell you what is upsells and cross sells because we have only one product with us we cannot uh, tell upsells and crosses at least we need to have two products then only i can tell what is upsells and crosses then attributes attributes you learn in variable product for now leave it as it is so now i have created my product now click on publish click on publish okay now let's view how our product is looking product published view product okay Ashley? yeah 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 kuch se uh, i'm just leaving for 2 minutes yeah yeah sure i have sure. a call okay 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 sure i'll be back thank okay. you okay yeah parita see this how our product is looking can you observe this parita yeah i can this is this is my product this is my name this is my category and this is my regular price this is my uh, sale price this is my short uh, what is that short description and this is my total description and see i can add the quantity if i if i select the option called uh, sold individually i cannot add the quantity over here because i didn't select the option called sold individually i can add the quantity over here so this is about how you need to add a product so tell me uh, just you tell me pranita how can i add a product tell me from starting one more product we will add so that i can explain what is upsells and crosssells you need to look for a dashboard 
okay just wait a minute there is some problem with this website i'm not understanding what's the problem suddenly it's triggering and all okay add new product Let's see whether this product is there in all products or not first. Okay, see, this is our product. The first one when the website got stuck, that one was added over here. So I just scratched. Okay, tell me, Pranika, product. Add, Add new product. product. Okay. And we need to give product name. Okay. Sales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Add some scroll with me, I guess. Ah, 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 and set product image. Okay, I have added product image and I have given a name to my product also. Then what is the next step? Yeah. We need to give a description. Yes, you need to give short description and you need to give a proper description also. So first, let's give the short description over here. <coughs> pink and golden. Let's remove that pink and golden because this is white. Okay. Then comes the proper description, which we need to give. Just copy. You can write your description, but for now I'm just copying. Okay, I've given the description short and the uh, proper one also I've given. Then what is the next step? I have added the image to. You need to add the tags, product tags, and category. Uh, what should we give? Let's give white. So somebody searches white, then our product should appear. So I've given white. Okay, then. Then category, women's wear. Women's wear. Okay, I have added my new category also. Now, select product data as simple product. Okay, I have selected simple product. We need to add a price and sale price. Exactly. So, we will keep it as 600 and we will keep this as 500. If you want to schedule, you can schedule. Then comes the inventory. What is SKU front of? Uh, stock keeping unit. What is the meaning of that? Uh, how much stock uh, do we have in our uh, no, no, no. particular uh, product? No, no, no. It is so, a code. Every product. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, product. sorry. Yeah, code. It is a code. Now, should I enable my uh, stock or should I disable? Should, should I manage my stock or not? I need to manage my stock, yeah, right? Manage. Okay. So, tell me what quantity should I keep? Okay, 100. Then allow back orders or no? No, do not allow. Okay, low stock threshold. What is the meaning of low stock threshold? Uh, if we get low stock, uh, means if we have three in our stock, mm -hmm. then they will show uh, there are only three in stock. Okay, should I select this option called sold individually or not? No, no. Yes, because one person can select uh, purchase that one, one product many times, right? He can add the quantity. 
Okay, yeah. you can give the weight and dimensions. Linked products. Okay. Kushtal, are you back? Kushtal, are you back? Okay, I don't think he's back. Okay, now let's publish this product first. Publish. Okay, our product has been published. Let's view how our product is appearing. View product. So this is how our product is appearing. See, yeah. you can even zoom in. This is 100 in stock availability also you can see and everything. Now tell me, why did I click on view product? Why didn't I open a new tab and why am I not checking over here in a new tab? Because, uh, because we are not adding it to our menu. Exactly. That is the reason I'm clicking on view product. Kursil, are you back? Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Okay, okay. So, uh, in between, we have added one more product question. We can see this product. Let me up. Okay. Just see this product question. In the meantime, we have up, uh, uploaded one more product. That is one search we have created and uh, we have given some name and description and image to that. We can just see the product. Later I'll explain what upsells and crosses. Okay, this is the product which we have created and we have, we have given a name and this is our regular price, our uh, sale price, our short description and our proper description over here. Now, Quantity you can increase or decrease, it's up to you. Now let's go back. What is upsells and cross sells? See, this is some. Okay, this is some product over here. If you scroll down, can you see this similar product? Why am I able to see the similar products under this particular product? I just clicked on this particular product. See, I have just clicked on this particular product, then I'm landing over here. But below that, I'm able to see all these products over here. Why I'm able to see is because they have given this product as upsells and cross sells. That means upsells and cross sells is nothing but a similar product. Similar product which will, when you are when you are seeing some particular product, under that product, some other products will appear. That is only known as upsells and cross sells. So let's go back. Now assume that, now I don't have any other skirt with me. For this particular one only, I will add my t-shirt as my upsells and process. So go to your link product and here, what is our t-shirt name? Roadster, right? Okay, see my t-shirt is appearing over here. With the code, it is appearing. So just upload it over here and here also. Now click on update. So what will happen when somebody is searching my skirt? Below the skirt, they will be able to see the similar product and they'll be able to see that t-shirt over there. You have to show other other skirt over there, but for now I don't have other skirt, so I've just linked my upsells and crosses for my t-shirt only. Okay, let's view our product. Click on view product. And this is my t-shirt, sorry, this is my skirt. And because I'm, I have given upsell and cross sell, he's showing me below the t uh, skirt, he's showing me the t-shirt. Before it was not showing me the t-shirt over here. Only up till here I was able to see. But now I'm able to see the t-shirt because I have given the link. That means I have given the upsell as my t-shirt over here. Same like this one. Same like similar products. I am under, I am seeing this particular thing. But if I scroll now, I'm able to see some similar products. So, for skirts, it's better you give some skirt as your upsells and crosses, but I don't have any skirt, so I've just given it as t-shirt. So this is known as upsells and crosses. Okay. Now, see, 
to view this product i'm just clicking on view product but i'm not opening my uh, website in a new tab i'm not i'm not and i'm not uh, seeing my products because these products are not added to the menu now go to your appearance where is appearance yeah go to your appearance and menu when you have created an e-commerce website with the help of woocommerce plugin cart page checkout page and shop page all these pages will be embedded automatically no need to create separate shop page no need to create separate cart page and no need to create separate checkout page now now see i am in the menu can you guys see over here checkout page cart page shop page i didn't create these pages whenever you create a uh, e-commerce uh, website with the help of woocommerce all these three pages will be installed by themselves by default they will be embedded in your website so take these three pages and add it to the menu add to the menu wait for some time okay all my pages are added to the menu i think first shop should come because first people will see the product then cart then later checkout so click on save menu now all these pages will be appearing under the menu and you can view your products in the new tab okay it has been saved just refresh this website just see over here shop page cart page checkout page if you click on shop page automatically all the products whichever you have created now will be under the shop page can you guys see over here the, this one is under uh, is under the shop page and this one is also under the shop page now cart page obviously it will be empty because you have not added anything to the cart right now your cart is empty so now let's see how to purchase a product click on shop and user will put, click on shop only first right so you need to click on shop let's assume that i want to purchase this product click on it okay now how many how many you want to purchase this particular t-shirt in what quantity you want to purchase you need to mention over here so i'm just mentioning one or two it's up to you here add to cart button should appear but it's not appearing directly has clicked over here because i know that it will appear besides but generally it will appear over here so can you see over here have been added to your cart that means two have been added to your cart just go to your cart see here view cart is appearing over here i am unable to see that's the reason I clicked on cart, but you can click on view cart over there. So, two products, that means two quantities, two, and you should update cart. Not happening. Go to checkout otherwise. Okay. Sorry, it seems that. There are no available payment methods for your state. That means you have not added any payment method. How will user purchase? Whether he should go for COD or whether he should purchase online. So you need to mention the payment method over here. You first you need to give your details over here. Then you need to mention the payment method. How to mention the payment method is in just put the cursor on WooCommerce. Then go into orders there is an option to give a coupon code also right so we will learn how to give coupon code I'm unable to see payments option. Just a second.
Okay, in settings option there is a in settings under book comma there is an option called settings. In settings there is a, there is an option called payment. Just click on this payment option over here so that how we want your customers to purchase your product you need to mention over here. So direct back transfer, check payments and all is there. So now let's go for cash on delivery because if you want to enable these two options then you should, then you need to register with razor pay phone pay and, and all for now let's go for cash on delivery so now save changes under woocommerce there is an option called settings in settings this payment option will be there so i have changed the sorry so i have set the payment uh, settings over there just refresh it over here then See here before what he was telling you cannot purchase a product because no payment uh, option has been set he was telling but now it has been changed to cash on delivery pay with cash upon delivery is telling so now I'll just give my name over here everything is inbuilt I didn't create all these things first name last name and everything so it's uh, up to you enter the details over here Okay. Same like Mintra, Amazon, and all. Select space. Telangana. Pin code. Because that person should come to your home and he should give the product. That is the reason they are asking you all the details over here with the pin code also. 243. Email address. Here, some send button should be there, save button should be there. All these options are not working in this particular website for some reason. Can you guys see any of save option or send option? It should appear over here. We are unable to see it. But generally there will be an option called save. Maybe this website has some error. That is the reason many options we are unable to see. But generally this is a format. Here you have to enter your details. Then you have to click on save option. That's it. Your order will be uh, taken. And where your orders will show is you have to go under WooCommerce orders. Then just here save option is not appearing to me over here. That is the reason uh, your order will not appear over here. But generally if you go under WooCommerce and orders, your order will appear over here. With all the details, with their phone number, with their address, everything will appear. Just uh, give me some time. I'll just check out what happened with this website. Maybe the, the main domain is not working properly or not. I don't know because we are doing, using it as subdomain. I'll just check out with the management and I'll let you know why some options are not working. And this website has also become slow. So I just need to know what happened there. So just save option and all your orders will be appearing under orders. That's it. And coupons we will learn tomorrow. For now, because options are only not working, it will not be exciting to see all those coupons and all. When all the options are working, you will see. We will, we will again do this process tomorrow. Just today in today's class, what we have learned, how to add a product. And uh, we have to add all these pages to the menu. That's it. You, you guys just remember this, this much. And uh, I will see what happened to why these options are not working. And coupons also I'll get tomorrow, variable product and affiliate product and group product. All these products we'll learn tomorrow. It will just take half an hour time and we'll go to SEO, search engine optimization. That's it.